All right, it's another day. Uh, I'm here in Southern New Hampshire, and it is pouring out. I don't know if you can see it. Pouring out here on Beatrix, which means that I don't particularly want to open up the tarps. Also makes working here a little bit tough um, because until I do get her dried in, I've got things like this happening. So everything is wet everywhere. Last time we were up here, um, probably the last shot I had was of my butt blocking the, uh, blocking me trying to work with that hammer form that I started to make. So what we ended up doing was, uh, we built a hammer form, which I'll show you in a second, and I used it flip this around to make this curve which is not a super fair curve it has a lot more kind of wobbly feathering whatever you want to call it here but it did bend and interestingly right here um, it's not as shapely as I thought it would be right in this area it's not as shapely as I thought it would be but it's not as shapely as I thought it would be because it was more accurately following my hammer form than I thought it could. So the hammer form, being what it is, is just an MDF. And what I have done is I have uh, screwed them together. And we actually screw through the sheet metal, drill, th drill and then screw through the sheet metal. And we bend it over. You can see my hammer marks where I missed. Um, but you can also see where there's some waviness in here and that and the hammer and, and the metal that I, that's over there actually picked up that waviness which in a weird way is encouraging um, that means that that form is really working uh, it just means that I need to refine it a lot more so it's a little chilly it's really wet out I think what I'm gonna do today is mostly focused on kind of sanding down this hammer form a little bit. Um, I think tomorrow, if I can get up here, it's supposed to be a little bit less gross out. So if I can get a fairer curve, a, a nicer looking curve on the top of this form, I will do that. And then I will, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then maybe tomorrow we'll open up the back end. Um, try to get try to start making some sheets and getting them in place um, we'll see for now what I think I'm going to try to do is find a place to put this up um, and just do a little bit of uh, put the camera up and do a little bit of sanding I bought a belt sander up here and I'm going to make some make a mess um, my current critical concern is I don't want to lose the shape of this hammer form um, spent a lot of time getting that but of course sand changes the shape of something so I think what I might try to do is put a little tiny scribe line in just a tiny bit inside and not sand past that sort of as a as a guide um, I don't know I'm figuring it out as I go but let's uh, let's get this set up and see what we can do shorted out the power cord because it's in a puddle. Now I have to figure out what breaker panel that's even on. Yay. Alright, let's see how many more times we do that today.
into finding this line as opposed to just screwing it up. I guess we'll find out. I do think it's getting a little less lumpy. You can still see some wobble to it. But you know, I mean I do. I think it's getting a little better. I'm also concerned that I'm getting non-symmetric. So at some point I think I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to put this back up on sawhorses and use some paper to check whether or not I've gone side to side. But for now, I'm gonna try to take that little dip that I see there. I'm going to try to fare that into the roof a little bit, I think. I'm going to try to get... You know, you can't see what I'm looking at. But I see a weird little hump there. I'm going to try to take down and try to get a little more balanced. More sanding. So whenever you do something where you don't actually have any idea what the hell you're doing, like say, creating a back cap for a bus, I mean, I, I, I have a plan, doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. Find yourself second, third, fourth, and quad, quintuple guessing yourself. There's a couple of little dishes. I don't know if you can see them. There are a couple of little dishes kind of between the center point of the roof. It kind of dips down a little bit on both sides before it gets to that outer curve. And I'm really wondering if that needs to be there or if that's an artifact of having cut the roof and it being a little floppy. And frankly, I don't know what happens if I fix it? I mean, if I fix that little dip, which does seem to actually be there, do I just push the roof up a little bit and it looks fine? Or have I somehow messed it up and there's going to be a wrinkle in the roof? Or am I just overthinking it? And it doesn't matter nearly as much as I think. And all of those options seem pretty viable. I do see those dips there. And part of that's gonna be the sheet metal being doubled up, is what I'm seeing. So there probably is a dip there. And I'm going under the sheet metal. So there probably wants to be a dip there. So I don't think I'm gonna completely take those out. So it's probably worth taking a few minutes, getting the form up on the, uh, sawhorses and finding out if I'm making the bus asymmetric you know more than it probably already is um, let's find out
Okay, okay. So this was interesting. Um, taped down. The, let me turn this around. I taped down this piece of uh, rosin paper, which is just what I had. I would have preferred RAM board, but taped down this rosin paper. Used my thumbnail to scribe a line, which gives me a very nice scribe. And then, and I taped it down to the center line that we had marked on this before. When I flipped it over, it turns out that the scribed line is nowhere near where it's supposed to be here. And then it gets back to being about right over here. That enters a couple different options. Or it could be that the back of the bus is lopsided. Sorry, it could be that the back of the bus is lopsided, which is entirely possible. Um, the other thing that I want to check, though, is that my center line could be wrong. So I'm going to take a second. Uh, I'm going to untape this and just try to fit it and see how close we get. Um, at any rate, I don't think I'm going to make a change that's this big on the hammer form. I would be afraid of what that actually meant. Um, and I feel like that could that big of a change, I'm going to have to chase through like the entire structure of the bus. So if the bus is that off, it's staying that off. Yeah, it actually lines up with the edges, right? Stay that way because I don't dare not 